Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can bring in content from other sites into SharePoint pages. Um, so uh, the beauty about SharePoint, of course, is that you can add uh, various web parts and create content using some built-in web parts that we have here. So, um, you know, an example of web parts is, of course, this news widget, and you can embed text and, uh, you know, add maps and weather and document libraries and quick links uh, and uh, calendars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, what if you need to bring in content from uh, other uh, websites, other sources? So there is a nice web part available called embed web part over here, which allows us to bring to do just that, bring in content from other sites. Now, uh, you cannot just bring content from any site. Uh, it has to be a, a site. It has to be pretty much a link uh, that does allow uh, for content to be embedded. And uh, if you have an iframe, for example, uh, you can embed that iframe code, or it has to be uh, an embeddable uh, link. It gives you a few examples even over here. All right. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to embed a video from a completely different website. All right. This particular video right here. Uh, now, don't ask me what this is all about. Uh, this is, I guess, a dog chasing some butterfly. Uh, I just found this uh, random video. But uh, uh, all we're going to do here is just embed it on my uh, SharePoint page. But uh, very, very important. Uh, again, you cannot just bring in content from uh, from any site, right? It has to be a site that al allows uh, for that uh, to happen. Uh, and it could be your CRM. I know for a fact that some CRMs allows you allow you to embed their content. Uh, it could be our uh, you know video hosting providers, uh, just like the one I'm showing you. Um, so um, uh, definitely for something for you to to validate and check out. And essentially, the way uh, the way this works is that uh, you navigate to the content to the site, and then you have to uh, get the code. In this case, let me get that embed code. Here we go. Look at this. I could, I guess, take the link, but I can also uh, probably take the embed code. So here we go. Uh, let me copy that. And then you navigate to your page and pretty much paste it, right? Because the iframe, uh, iframe uh, code is allowed. So I'm going to do just that. And look at this. Here is my video. All right, here is my content embedded on the page. And uh, I guess you can move this around just like any other web part, but let me publish it. And now I can access, in this case, I can play this video, um, even though it's hosted somewhere else, uh, or if it was a CRM uh, data, uh, data from another um, you know, source somewhere, you could also obviously access the information right from within uh, the SharePoint page without, uh, without the need to go uh, anywhere externally, all right? One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com. And I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses. And I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. Uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.